familiar perhaps under the names Peanuts or Monkey Nuts. Field Marshal Smuts, over here to fulfil an engagement at Cambridge University, was surrounded by press and newsreel men when he arrived at North Hope. He was met by Lord Tedder and before leaving the airfield was good enough to give cameramen every facility for pictures and questions. It's nice to be here on such a day and see the, the world solid here still. Yes. Can you tell us, Field Marshal, if the recent elections will affect your country's relations with Britain? No, not for a moment. You're not at all worried about it? I don't think the uh, elections had anything to do with our Commonwealth relations or with foreign relations. It's a purely internal affair, uh, fought on internal issues. The election was a very close thing. Do you think, sir, there'll be another election soon? Well, it's difficult to say. It's, it's difficult to say. It's, uh, it's not a very satisfactory result from a government point of view, but nobody can say whether it'll lead to an early election or not. Time only can show. Wait and see. Is there, in fact, a likelihood now of the Union leaving the Commonwealth? No, not for a moment. Not right. for a moment. Very happy news, sir. Go to bed and sleep at night, safe. Uh, nothing will happen to the Commonwealth. Finally, sir, may we ask you, what do you think caused this change of heart in South African electors? Oh, it's the post-war uh, desire for change, you know. People don't like the old faces and the old voices and the old smiles and the old speeches. They want to change. No, 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 no. I see. And uh, you see the same government has been in power now in South Africa for many long years. I think my government survived longer than any other post-war government. And after all, people want to change. Why not? Latest pictures from war-torn palaces.